Hello. Um, yeah, I, I'm saying uh, he's uh, starting off uh, the academy. You came back yesterday from from your Christmas break and your year's break and you've been told that he's going on a field trip. You have to be at breakfast and ready at at nine oh nine hundred. I assume this is all of the uh, academy characters, right? Yes. So Velik and yes. everyone else. Yes. Okay. You just woke up. Right. Well, Velik is going to um, meditate, as per usual. Um, Velik is going to go to the hard deck and just mess around for a little bit until it's time to go. Oh. Well, uh, Soth would uh, wake up, go through a, a very regimented uh, sort of military-esque morning regime, uh, and in any time between being prepared and having to present promptly for the field trip, uh, he would probably be uh, squeezing in some time to do some work on uh, sort of science elements of the curriculum because he knows that's his weak point. So he spends time, when he can, trying to bone up on that subject. Yep. And uh, Kadeil is going to... Let's see, what is Kadeil going to do besides the obvious? Um, I will. Durlock, what is Samson feeling? Is he anxious, excited? Is he uh, uh, nervous about anything? I, I'm, I'm using my Delton powers on you. <laughs> okay, but uh, 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 your Delton powers would feel something you feel any time you're around them a, a deep sadness. Uh, it's always there. Gotcha. Uh, anything other than that? Um, uh, yeah, you you would feel that uh, that he's waiting for the field trip, you know, maybe a little anxious to get going. Okay. Um, let me see who else. I don't think... Yeah, I can't read Josh's character because that's uh, Brangy. Um... Oh, speaking, speaking of which, we should probably introduce each other since we're kind of, half of us are new. Um, so I'll start since, you know, it's me. Um, I'm playing a Delton male named Aiel. He is a second year cadet. He has uh, had some history with the academy that uh, wasn't too good. Other than that, you guys, all you guys would know is, you know, rumors about him. Um, that, you know, maybe he tried to apply and, and failed, and, you know, the first time, or, or maybe, you know, some of the rumors that he, you know, almost quit last time, or there's, there's a bunch of different rumors about him, but uh, that's essentially, he, he's kind of a loner, he used to hang out with a Romulan female all the time, but then she left, and now he's kind of just a loner, he hangs out with the upperclassmen only if he kind of, you know, has to. Um, he used to hang out with them all the time in the, in, the, in the mess hall, but then she left and now he's just kind of on his own, doing his own thing. Not to the edgelord uh, type, you know, not to that level of like sitting in the corner brooding, but like to the, to the point where like you, you, you would notice it. Um, and so, yeah, um, I guess... Well, as soon as Samson noticed you're all by yourself, he would go over to you. Well, he's, he's not, not right now. now. I'm just te- yeah, describing, describing who he is, okay. essentially. So, so yeah, who, who else wants to go? Uh, well, well, well I, like, I may as well. Uh, so, uh, I'm playing uh, Soth Sharan, uh, who is a uh, relatively new entrant to the Academy. Uh, so, he doesn't have that much of a, a sort of a reputation here yet. Uh, but just from those of you who may have seen him at a distance or, or, or casually said hello, uh, that... Y- well, one, he's very obviously Andorian. 
Uh, two, he is very prim, uh, very proper. It, it, it's as though sometimes he has to turn off the parade ground element to him uh, and be, be a bit more relaxed. Uh, and in the short time he's been here, you very rarely seen him do something that is purely recreational. Uh, it's uh, as I alluded to in the sort of the morning routine. When he has spare time, he's usually uh, in some form of library-like area uh, or some sort of study area uh, where he is going through oddly basic. Uh, science textbooks for somebody who's in the academy. Uh, that was definitely his his weakest area, and he is very conscious of it. Samson's a human male. Um, I, I gen generally he's a the sort of the goop all type. Um, as as far as his reputation in school, he, he sort of has a reputation of being the goopball, but yet also uh, trying to have a command presence. He's the clown. Yeah, he's, he's the, the class class clown. <laughs> uh, Grim Lotanen is a male trill, uh, kind of a loner, and a... Uh, blunt and obtrusive nature the kind of keep people at distance uh, he is a medical cadet alright so Velik is a half Romulan half Vulcan he is uh, pretty much what Infamous said is not his character he likes to go brood in the corner and <laughs> think about everything Vulcan and meditate um, he does not like his Romulan side um, because of his history, which is uh, something that I won't go into right now. Um, he has um, uh, not a very good relationship with uh, Andorians, to be in, in particular. Uh, he thinks they are uh, they jump to the shark too fast and you know, they take action and risks, unnecessary risks. And he has just gone through his, um, I believe, uh, culinary training, was it? Or mind mm -hmm. melt, one of them. Uh, uh, finish them, and yeah, that's him. <laughs> oh, he's gonna love Samson. <laughs> no news for me. I'm the token looter shooter over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no idea. To... I'm sorry, my brain just farted because I was trying to uh, focus on so many other things at the same time, but uh... mm. my character's name is uh, Cor Cadet Corvinus. Uh... He's a second year cadet who's going for the security department. Uh, he's straight up from New, Ber New Berlin on Luna. Literally from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just say he kind of grew up with Starfleet the whole time. And yeah. Mm. Just don't mention anything about the TIA. Just don't. Is there right. anything else I need to say? Shit, I forgot. Uh, I think Josh and Justin are the last two, if I remember correctly. Unless you guys did, and I just glossed over it and completely didn't hear it. Um, I, my character is Elak uh, Rigor, Rigor, uh, if I mispronounced his name right. Um, he's an Orion. He actually um, was at another academy and decided to come here to the main one and let's see he's an engineering cadet so every time we see him around camp on the campus on his off time he really doesn't think he's off he just goes to back to like the hard deck and looks up engineering schematics and keeps his mind fresh on the engineering He's a no nonsense kind um Orion. And when he grew up on a space and he he actually persists himself as he's still on the on the spaceship, I think. <clears throat> My character is Merc. He's a uh, third year 
Ringy security cadet. He uh, he um ha has a he's kind of a loner. He doesn't like to hang around people so much, but he likes to be no nonsense and likes to get things done on his own. Everyone is the star of the show. Everyone is. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone here? <laughs> who like likes anybody? Is, he, is there anyone here who likes people? Just, just wondering. <laughs> Sam I mean, so, Okay. Yeah. I think Corvinus would just tolerate people. He <laughs> just soft. He yeah. could just soft. tolerate you. <laughs> soft definitely likes people, but he hasn't been here for very long, and he is the case of oh, I have work to do, must work, 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 <laughs> which he he knows is not 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 wise <laughs> in the long term. Right. Uh, but yeah, due due to his uh, relatively low <laughs> reason and science score, I just decided that he struggled on that particular element of the entrance exam. That's probably a and good sweat idea. And blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably a, a good <laughs> idea. But thankfully, we have a couple of science officer or science cadets here, so it should it, yeah, it shouldn't. Star Trek is one, of, or this game is one of those. Because uh, I mean, in a lot of games, you have to have the healer and you have to have a leader and blah blah blah. Whereas you could and have all a whole, the DPSs and all yeah. the tanks and all the. Uh... In this game, you could have like a, just five engineers, and it, it would still work out just as fine. It would be funnier because of all the failing, but it would still work out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and once uh, we all I get have... it, say so once we all get assembled together, I look around mm -hmm. it in character. I go, "Where's our, where's our resident Cardassian? What did uh, That's little, little uh, junior Obsidian Order Camp not get out in time for him to make it back? Maybe he went back to Cardassia." <laughs> so, so sort of perks a brow at this uh, junior obsidian order remark uh, and asks uh, quite straight um, well, what exactly makes you makes you say this I, I'm, I'm, I'm unfamiliar what's the dynamic here because uh, he wanted to take a perpetrator and throw him out an airlock so it's kind of just gives a, like I understand the situation now like single <laughs> not <laughs> uh, I'm kind of this part of the Beginning. The beginning of what? And yeah, I got friends on me. Oh. Uh, um, I uh, I don't know exactly what you missed, but uh, uh, we were all gathered together, and um, and somebody asked uh, where the Kardashian was, uh, specifically where the Junior Obsidian Order uh, was. And my character said he probably, maybe he went back to Cardassia, and and then um, somebody asked, uh, asked, well, why, what's a, what this remark? And then my character said because he wanted to throw a perpetrator okay. out an airlock. Yeah, I didn't miss that. <laughs> um. Oh, um, yeah, when, in character, when we actually get at the shuttle, he's actually looking at the shuttle and what's, or uh, where it's going to take us, the field trip. Like, he's cooking as an AV little detail, like, engineering detail, kind of thing. When you first get... So none of these are going to have breakfast. I'm, my character would probably grab oh. grab a quick like uh, bag from the mess hall and just like head for the shuttle or wherever we can go to wait for the transport my, out of here. Samson yeah. would just grab field rations. Yeah, Soth would have wolfed some down as part of his routine, but yeah, unsentimental. I'm, I'm eating in the corner. I'm over there. <laughs> Hey, he sees you in the cor uh Samson oh. sees you in the corner and walks up to you, puts your his uh, arm around your shoulder. So, cadet, you ready for the field trip? I just turn and look at you while I'm chewing, <laughs> and then look back at my tray. <laughs> <laughs> well, jeez, fine. And he walks away, sort of grinning. Not a morning person. Oh. <laughs> I feel you on that. <laughs> Oh great! You know, um, 
I suppose, uh, uh, upon seeing that Soth will identify Samson as the the exuberant one. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> I just walk right up to him, hand outstretched, introduce himself, <laughs> and just. I don't wish to bug it down. I, because... <laughs> eternally, I realize why all those people back on Luna kept making those terrible jokes. <laughs> they thought, please don't let this be a normal field trip. <laughs> <laughs> and Samson would go, hi, nice to meet they, you. Why do they always talk about that 20th century joke? Um, like, come on, it's... And, and all of a sudden, his expression would completely change. He's like serious and and all proper. <laughs> oh, uh, Soth was uh, just about to start getting a little bit more sort of casual and relaxed, and said, "Ah, so you know, uh, you know t t tell me about your time here and what's been going on, fresh arrival and all that." But the moment you become more prim and proper, Soth is like ten seconds behind you and <laughs> mirrors your prim and properness and goes into formality. As soon as he sees that, he goes back to casual again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now he's just fucking with him. <laughs> yep. Yep. Soth rises and grins. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, We're going to be the bestest of friends. <laughs> and and Samson laughs. Impulsively, I was. I impulsively, I was just huh? trying to see what the hell was going on. Like. <laughs> But would Samson notice your confusion? Probably! Probably the, the visible confusion just plastered on my face! Uh, uh, Samson would look at you and then uh, uh, look back at... Uh, I'm sorry, what's your character's name? Uh, Soth. That's the first Soth Sharan. Soft? Mm-hmm. Okay. I would uh, look back at Soft Grin and uh, move his eyes back towards uh, the confused cadet, like, let's go mess with him. Soft will grin, uh, but, but whisper, uh, and just say, Do you know no mercy? Alright, might as well. The visible computer, like, just. Um, quickly just tries to disappear, but you can just see the raised eyebrows about this, like, okay. <laughs> At least they're not trying to mess with Grimlow. <laughs> oh, oh, you just wait. <laughs> he got the name right, Grimlow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And now, and, and now that Samson has a mess around, buddy, things are gonna get a lot worse. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised your character uh, doesn't get along with the the upperclassmen who are the bullies. <laughs> uh, they, I'm not being mean. And I'm, lower. To them. I'm, I'm, just, lower. I'm not being mean to them. I'm trying to get them out of their shell. Oh God! Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mower. I think because you mentioned the the game that I don't remember the name of. Uh, you mentioned uh, uh, morals, basically. Tank, DPS. Oh, oh yeah. right, right. I remember it. You also yeah. mentioned Skyrim in the beginning, but I don't. Yeah, think it was I yet. played Skyrim. Like, yeah. All right, so yeah, let's get back to the yeah. Game. Sorry, are are sorry, we are we done fucking around? <laughs> I, 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 I'm waiting at the shuttle. <laughs> no, no, since, you, since you said are we done, oh no, let's keep going. I'm at the shuttle. Come on, at least at least it's, at least it's character interaction. At no, least. no, I'm not stopping that. I'm not, definitely not stopping that. I'm just saying I'm at the shuttle. All right, all right, all right. All right who uh, who rubbed right. me into this? All right, who rubbed me into this? <laughs> I'm just letting the character interaction yeah. happen. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just at all right. All right. I, like, I'm asking, who roped me in? in? Into the field trip? No, 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 no. It's the whole uh, hey, new cadet interaction, <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh. uh, Samson would uh, start walking uh, off to you, and uh, uh, he would say, "So, how are you enjoying uh, the academy?" Say again? Yeah, uh, he would uh, walk up to you and say, "So, how are you enjoying the academy?" And seeing that you're visibly confused. <laughs> yeah, it was just your interaction with that. Uh, who's that? That Listen. thing. <laughs> that thing. That thing that's standing right next to him. <laughs> the android. <laughs> <laughs> hey.
Oh, uh, well, oh, that was just messing around. Uh, you, you be around us long enough, you'll catch on. <laughs> so, so it looks a little confused. It says, I, I specifically just lighted my eyes like, <laughs> think I might like it here. I know you'll like it here. Uh, but yeah, sanity to the group. Um, Velik is going to uh, basically walk around the uh, academy and mm -hmm. just take it a bit, uh, take it in a little bit. You know, uh, reflect on last year's stuff and stuff like that. I'm going to assume it's an inside joke, or perhaps you just met them and you're simply. I'm sorry, who are you talking to? Um, can y'all hear me now? That was interacted with me? Yeah, I, I okay. hear you. I hear you. I'm, yeah. uh, you, you I have mean, to... Yeah, I'm with my mic, and I don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, nope. uh, okay. please, uh, please specify who you're talking to, it gets confusing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, I'm not even sure who was talking to me, that's the problem. Um, uh, Duralock and oh, Edgeford. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, Duralock. Uh, which I think is Jim Samson. Uh, yeah, my Jen. character's name is Samson. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You'll know him as the class, uh, the academy's clown. Oh, mm. right. I I'm moving their their tokens closer to you so you can see him. On the uh, I I think uh, uh, by his fourth year he has a pretty good reputation for being a goofball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, just look at that face. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, no. But, uh, Soth isn't so much mucking around, although he, he he definitely is a bit, but he's just trying to be sort of warm and inviting and sort of, hello, new person. <laughs> and being sort of very, very outward going oh, yes. with that hold. Ah, oh, yes. Fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, technically, Soth is the new person. Yeah, because this is my second... Um, I'm not the new one here. No, no, in, 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 indeed you're not. I'm just going out of my way. And it's, uh, I am fresh meat. Best surf raw, I think. Um... Um, hold on. Is my is my headphones glitching out? I need to check real quick. I'm, I, I think like everybody's quick. glitching out. I'm hearing uh, all fine. Yeah, I'm actually just glitching out too. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing you all fine. Okay, is, yep. is, okay, I needed to see if it's working again. And... Yeah, it's working. Alright, let's get back to it. Uh, mine's going in and out. It says RTC, RTC disconnected and then comes back in. RTC disconnected and then comes back in. Yeah, that's a that's a Discord problem. Yeah, probably linked to your geography. Yeah, where are you located? And let me change my geography real quick if I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could change the server, but I think most people, like even for Australia, for Mac, being East Coast yeah. is better. For mm. East Coast America, I don't know about the rest of you, but where is my? Oh, I can't even find it now. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I don't know where it is. It's been a while since I've had to mess with it. Mm. They might have moved. I it. don't even know how to do that. I think they moved it or something. Maybe they got rid of it. Oh no! That's... Uh, are you also there? Yeah, I hear you. Yep. But yes, just 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 for Bertholds, um benefit after the potential headset issue, uh, Soth was just. Joking along that yes, he is the not he, he is the new person that he is the fresh meat <laughs> and that uh, he he rather fancies he might best be served cold. <laughs> Sorry, you glitched out again. Oh, I heard uh, it just fine. I heard it too. It might be on her end. It was just a little laggy. I think maybe because okay. of his uh, yeah. shit signals bad connections bad. Yeah, connection. big dumb. <laughs> But yes, Soth will continue to... Sorry, please continue. 
It depends on where you live. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We've got fiberglass internet, which is what I have. <laughs> not the bad I I'm sure Australia's uh, internet made out of tumbleweeds is not doing very well. Yeah. yeah. Um. Basically, I live in a swamp area. Oh. Uh -huh. I live in Pensacola. So both of you have vines for for internet cables. <laughs> swamp I'm, vines. I'm just north of Gainesville. I'm actually in Swampland too. Yeah, but all the snow pulled down all your your uh, yeah. telephone poles. So that's no, why. <laughs> yeah, my mine's ice now. <laughs> mm. I live in perfect North Carolina. <laughs> so, um, wait, what were you gonna say? Who? Who are you uh, talking to? Justin's. Uh. Ah. It goes back and forth, so... Oh, by the way, especially that... just to put it between you and me. <clears throat> there are certain people that you might need to look out for. Understood? Soth will immediately get a little bit more serious uh, and say, mm -hmm. who are these people and why must I watch out? Uh, there are some, uh, some uh, upper class men that like to pick on the new people. Not like how y'all are doing. <laughs> and, 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 well, not like how this, not friendly. this comical individual is doing. <laughs> Samson would look at you with a big grin on his face. Yeah, that's a, that's a compliment yeah. for him. <laughs> so perhaps misunderstanding the scenario slightly, will actually grin at that uh, and almost be like, Oh, well, that's, that seems entirely good and proper. I mean, I'm hazing the new people is always part of the ritual. Uh, no, that's uh, no. I was uh, smiling specifically at him, calling calling me an amusing individual. <laughs> I think comical, comical individual. Was the word, yeah. <laughs> yeah, comical individual. Yeah, but but Seth may be underestimating the threat posed by these upper classmen and thinks that this is all just like normal inter year. You know, you haze the new people, put them through their paces, etc. Yeah. Is, is, does it go beyond this? Is that what you're saying? Yes, it goes <laughs> beyond this. Uh... It gets a lot worse, unfortunately. How bad does it get? Did you just get British? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I see. It's, it's it's difficult for me to just get British. I no, am no, British. Not you. <laughs> Bartol <laughs> Corvinus. Just the last <laughs> half of that <laughs> sentence was like, unfortunately, <laughs> let me grab my teacup. <laughs> <laughs> my voice just randomly switches accents without oh. any warning yeah. sometimes. Like, like yep. for some reason, I sound like this, but all of a sudden, I'm I'm like this. Like, well, I don't know why. It's just so. <laughs> it's probably it's who just... you're talking to. You <laughs> simulate who you're talking to. The mimic. Because how how bad does it get? <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to try this way now. A lot worse. Can you hear me now? Still. Yeah, I hear you. Yes, worse. we can. Well, well, you well, uh, notice somebody behind Samson. Uh oh. Uh oh. Which ones? Uh, uh, Samson uh, would l look behind him, see who it is. You notice it's Lieutenant Bruno. Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I would instantly stand at attention. Yep. Soft the moment he sees a commissioned <laughs> officer, it's just. Boom. I noticed, and I, I, I noticed who's behind, and I just do exactly the same, like. Boom. Chair falls over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bunch of a. Uh... Oh, so you met the commit uh, class clown. <laughs> Again, uh, you met Samson there grinning. Soth just, uh, if, if if that question was directed to him, uh, it just gives uh, uh, a slight nod to that question. Uh, and says, I have been informed that is their reputation, Mom. Yes. <laughs> and he's really good at science, so it's always good to have somebody who can help. Indeed, Mom. And I hope I can be of uh, similar assistance in other fields. Uh, the shuttle was waiting. 
She goes, I, uh, I'm, I, he would go, uh, yes, sir, I'm looking forward to doing science. <laughs> and she takes off. All right, uh, shall we go? Yep. So I've practically marches in now that there's a, that there's a commissioned officer nearby. Yeah, uh, is it just, uh, like, like two? Hey, uh, Mac, is uh, Sanders and Mamo supposed to be there? Are you using them, or do you want me to get rid of them? You can get rid of them. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yep, so I'm... I, I, I'm probably waiting at the shuttle with... I think it was Merc? Who else was there? I think oh, Merc's here. Regor, Regor, too. We we were the, we were waiting, I think, for the others, so... Oops. <laughs> I keep trying to move it, and you keep moving it for me. <laughs> Where do you want it? Do you want me in line, or do you want me beside them? Or do you care? Uh, you can... It doesn't really bother me. Okay. He's going to be in the back then. <laughs> he walks onto the shuttle and walks back off with a monkey on his shoulder. Wait, who does that? Runa does that? Yep. There's a monkey on Runa's shoulder. Yes. Okay. A real monkey? Can I monkey? sense any emotion from this monkey? Monkey? Um, the monkey is happy to stay on a shuttle. Okay, so it's a real monkey. It's not a hologram. Okay. Nope. All right. Just making sure. <laughs> He'll just look at her weirdly and, but not say or do anything. You know, that's too untoward. She goes. Yeah. Make uh, watch out for the sloth. Wait a second. Are we Sorry, um, he, uh, Cadet Ayo actually raises his hand. He says, uh, Lieutenant, are we going to the zoo? Yes. Awesome. He's, like, super happy about that, despite, you know, never, ever being happy before. <laughs> yes, we're going to the zoo. And because the zoo need, uh, needed a transport... I uh, had to use your excuse to transport the animals and get used to go to the zoo. Testing, testing. I hear you. Thank you. I hear. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. So, yeah. So, so from that comment, as, as the we all walk aboard the shuttle, I'm guessing, uh, do we see stuff like cages, restraints, animal feed, etc., that would be useful for the transportation of animals? Yes. You mm -hmm. see, uh, that we're actually transporting a sloth, a juice for. One of the endangered species. Is it from Earth or another planet? Another planet. It's a oh. Avon ca uh, cave sloth. So it's in the dark, in the corner. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Ayel mm -hmm. is gonna not sit anywhere near it. <laughs> Ayel is gonna sit literally anywhere else. <laughs> Merc would sit down beside Ayo and say, I guess they're not kidding. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. When, when a you walks past yeah, it, you like to sit fast asleep. Uh, near an engineering station. What'd you say, Mac? When a you walks past it, mm. he notices it's fully asleep, snoring. Uh, well, I'm still not mm. sitting next to a sloth, so. <laughs> Wait, is the sloth in the back or the front? In the back. And the ramp is in the back. So we walked in and we had to pass the sloth, right? Yep. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to sit up near front. For the very first time in my life, I'm sitting near the front of the ship. <laughs> so. Yep. Yep. Hello, Chortles. I see you just s signed up with us. I have. Sorry for the delay. Uh, stuff was happening offline that had to be resolved. It's all good. All right. We're going to a zoo planet for a field trip. As one certain red-headed nerd once said, please don't let this be a normal field trip. <laughs> if I say that joke never gets old, will y'all be able to tell that I'm being sarcastic? Readily. <laughs> <laughs> that joke I never gets know. old. <laughs> That stuff never gets old. <laughs> well, it, it, if, if once people have sat down and, and, and Soth will probably sit near his new friends, as presumptive as that is, uh, Bert, Holt, and Samson, if they're near one another, uh, Soth will get out um, like a little pad, if, if it's assumed that we have those, and, and start looking up information on this particular kind of sloth, you know, just yes. so he knows what's there. <laughs> Interesting. I yield to do the same thing, but he's going to look up and see if it's poisonous. You pretty much know it actually likes to be... lives in caves and likes to sleep a lot. Oh, I mean, that's... that's so, a very yeah. slothful sloth, yeah. am I right? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yep. Please say that was in character. <laughs> <laughs> and you would know that Nog had a one of these four. Would, would we know? I don't know if yeah. I would know. If you're looking it up, oh, you'll okay. know that if we have Nog... a pad, gotcha. If we're looking it up on the pad, yeah, okay. I didn't know out of character that. <laughs> uh, uh, could you repeat that? I didn't catch it. We would know what? If you were looking it up, you would know Nog had one of these, uh, one of these sloths. Nog and Frankie, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Making yeah. sure we're, we're talking about the same thing. Okay. Uh, we would know that uh, Nog has one of these sloths. So uh, there's literally a sloth just chilling in the. Um... <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, it's in a cage. It can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yell tur I yell turns to Merc and, and says uh, things are really going to take a turn if they let that thing up front to drive. It just I would weirder. like to see that. <laughs> I would for about three seconds till the plate till the freaking ship crashes. Yep. Good point. <laughs> I hope it keeps sleeping. Uh, which by uh, which by the way, um, uh, when you said that your Dalton senses would a uh, hurt, it felt a little thing of hope, hopefulness in uh, Samson, just a little. Wait, uh, hopefulness that it, he might drive the ship and crash it. Exactly. That it, is that it oh keeps sleeping and doesn't screw around with the ship. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that would make more sense. Have a freaking field trip. Yeah, that, that would make more sense. <laughs> what? Well, uh, there, uh, remember Samson's flaw. Yeah, you should remember that. I literally do not remember anything from the past. He's depressed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh. That helps. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense, then. Alright. Um, can you also hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we can hear you. I can. I don't know if anyone can hear me because. Yeah. Okay, go I can hear the both of you. <laughs> yeah, it's all fine. All right. You wouldn't know. Uh, Bruno says we're going to be taking a while to get to. The zoo planet. Mm hmm. Uh. A lieutenant or uh, professor, instructor, whatever you want us to call you. Um, he, I obviously he doesn't say that. But uh, <laughs> uh, what? How long exactly will it take 
uh, the shuttle to get to uh, this zoo planet? Roughly. <laughs> yeah, what's the rough estimate? Rough estimate would be about three hours. Oh, okay, so not too far, or not too long. Okay. Yeah. Not too long. That's neat. Good. Good to know. Yeah. We're gonna have a field trip and a little. What's that? What's the what's the space version of a road trip? A space road trip, I guess it would be called. A space trip, I guess. <laughs> a space trip, yeah. What? Space one, trip. <laughs> one thing that I and, and and Soth noted in that that little sentence was zoo planet so we're, we're, we're going this isn't us leaving san francisco and going to say washington and visiting a large zoo there we're, we're leaving the planet um i like it's just going to uh, remain silent since this is a, since this is his first time with everyone and he's just watching y'all interact I specifically said a zoo planet. Yep. Yeah, you said it. I yell rubs yep, his hands together. We're gonna go see some animals and probably mm -hmm. plants. And probably not let that as moth uh, screw something up. <laughs> Where? Samson keeps looking at the sloth. He's just watching it. <laughs> you doing nothing? Just urging him. Oh, get up, come on, get up, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just push that big red button that says do not push. <laughs> if I don't do it, that button. If I don't do it and a sloth does it, they can't say I did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's Samson's voices in his head. <laughs> right. <laughs> I sometimes take the occasional look over to the sloth to make sure it's still sleeping. You know. And what, has it taken a pistol to its head? What, what are you expecting to do? <laughs> no, I'm just taking a quick glance back, you know. Being I, a paranoid son of a bitch I am. I wish there, I wish there was a beta Zoid on board right now because what's going on in uh, Samson's head would be funny. <laughs> Uh, Soth is, is 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 less concerned with the sloth. He's he's slightly surprised that people aren't worried about the unrestrained monkey <laughs> in the cabin. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a good question. His attention on that. That's a good question. What kind of monkey is it? Like a gorilla or like is it just? A, oh my god! If it's a gorilla, then oh my. A chimpanzee. I mean, some <laughs> some are more murderous than others. I was gonna <laughs> say chimpan chimpanzees are the most violent. Yeah. Yeah, like, and, like I know that a bunch of bunch of chimpanzees had a full on war. We can also just say it's an alien monkey, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's an alien yeah, monkey, it's it doesn't really matter. Out of the typical chimpanzee. It's an alien monkey, and and it just got it. So it's it's just the cute little monkey, and and all the stereotypes are attributed to it that are. About Positive. It. Yep. But right. <laughs> uh, Samson tries to feed it a uh, part of the ration pack he has. Oh my god. <laughs> I will make sure he's nowhere near anything. It, it, that whole situation. He he moves closer <laughs> to the wall if that was possible. It's like, that, uh, that uh, one be... thing I want to mention is uh, he has animal handling, so he has some idea of what Ooh. animals can and can't eat. Oh, dude. Mac, make, make him right. Make, make a roll for that. <laughs> oh my yes. god! Oh, what am I rolling, Mac? It's a good question. You're gonna. I'm gonna say reason science. Okay. okay. That's about right. All right, let's see what happens here. So he's trying to feed him something from the ration. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. You you get it. Okay, so I picked something that I think the m monkey could eat. Okay. Yep. Nice. Um, he eats it. Did we get momentum? I was about to say, <laughs> how hard was that that pro thought process for him? <laughs> well, no, it wasn't that hard. Okay, so do we get I wanted to see, Yeah, you get two momentum. Oh, two, okay, good. <laughs> right. I wanted to see if he actually critted. Oh, yeah, critted that, that would have been, been, been funny. Yeah, that would have been um, comical. I just gonna look at the cage and see if he can make it. See if he can make it stronger than it already is. 
Hmm. Make make the case so say he lost his sleeping the thoughts of sleeping. He slowly and quietly makes the case uh, more robust. So that way nothing can happen during the transport. I think I was sitting up front with Merc. So can he, uh... Is the, is the lieutenant going to let let him try to fix, uh, fix up the cage, or whatever you want to call it? The lieutenant will turn around and say, don't fit her around with the cage. <laughs> <laughs> and he just stands by and just... And just looks at it to see how well it's engineered and see what you can learn from it. Then, so I'll let you be. Yeah, you're just looking at it. Um, wait. Do I have my day pad? On? Do we have pads on us? Do we have a what? I P A D D. I'm I'm a, I'm pretty sure we do. I mean, it's kind of a field trip, so I'm, I think and they gave us pads to like take notes and stuff. Yeah, and then we have. And you go see me on his pad and just over the whole cage and right down. Okay, this needs to be fixed. This could be better. You know, scrutinizing the whole cage, engineering wise in his mind. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right back. What I miss? Uh, he's just staring at the cage. Grimlo is reviewing the. Uh, biological profile of the sloth on the pad to see what infectious diseases it might have. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if it, it had. Is it poison. possible if I could check over on the monkey? Like, like, am I nearby the monkey by any chance? Yeah, you should be. I see uh, if I it's a possible safety hazard, or maybe <laughs> if it's. I just want to make sure. I know it's probably an obvious safety hazard, but should I just check anyways? Hey, uh, Samson's sitting next to it. By the way, feeding it. Oh, okay. Yep. Then Lieutenant Ren is probably sitting at the back. Hey, hey, to anybody watching, it seems pretty obvious Samson has experience with animals. One point of paranoia removed. Hmm. You would know um, by its behavior. Um, basically, it's not a hazard to anyone. It's mm. more like it likes being around here, uh, people. It's a cat monkey. Yeah. <laughs> so, a, a monkey with the software and hardware of a dog. Or a cat. Yep. yep. So, a monkey with software of a cat, but hardware of a dog. <laughs> So, in other words, the monkey's interacting with Samson right now. Samson's feeding feeding the sloth and interacting with the monkey. Like No, I was feeding the monkey. And oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, don't accidentally feed the monkey to the sloth. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, the sloths don't eat meat, but I got you. <laughs> it's an alien one. You never know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never know. Basically, with a sloth, if you leave it alone and don't touch it, you won't catch any um, bacterial infections it has right now. If it scratches you, on the other hand... <laughs> that was a strong warning <laughs> from the GM. <laughs> Just saying. Yes. We, all the GMs know what that was. <laughs> Starfleet Medical can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, do we have? Yeah, we have Grimlow. He's medical, so we're good. Yeah, we're uh -huh. good. We're totally good. Oh, so yeah. Did, did it come through when I said I was looking at my pad to look for infectious diseases it might have? I think that's what um, Mac replied to. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I was making sure that the person who's looking at the sloth doesn't go try and poking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking up one of my talents real quick. Why is the Andorian hiding at the bottom of the roll 20 page? The, 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 the reason what? is I, I can't work out how to make my tokens smaller, and if uh, I were to sit on the ship, I'd take four seats. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now he's in the sloth pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Ah, yes. Yeah, there was a mistake on the inventory. Sloth and Soth got confused. Ah, <laughs> <because> of... <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I missed that <laughs> joke. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that one. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking for pictures of sloths. <laughs> Oh, perfect. It's a sloth, but it's also a stuffed animal. Aww. The best of all worlds. Yeah. Ah, yes. The oh, best thing. Stupid web Stuffed piece. sloths. Let's make mm. something you can't download. And, uh, <laughs> Samson, uh, Samson would be talking to the monkey, going, Hi there, little friend. Hi there. <laughs> um, he very much will be trying <laughs> to take food and just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my um, character is going to um, normal interface with the computer. Just to, he's going to initiate that just so he can have more. If need be, he can. How does that work again? <laughs> uh, sorry, I was, I was laughing, laughing at the ginormous sloth <laughs> teddy bear and, yep. that appeared. What, what was you saying? <laughs> what were you saying, uh, Justin? Um, my normal interface. I was trying to figure out how to use oh. that. You, well, have to, you, you have, have to plug yourself into the ship. Uh, uh, also, uh, uh, Delton, uh, I want to point out that while he's interacting with the monkey, he's less sad. Okay, good to know. I'll buy him some good. monkeys. <laughs> he likes animals. Yep, this sloth is right at back. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, and um, Let's see. what does that do? Okay, thank. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm up a lot of stuff because I have an idea. But I want to see if, uh, what, 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 what my character will do since he has the talents and. I'll look at your talents and see if, because I don't think uh, instructor's gonna let you plug your head into the computer. But that's just me. <laughs> Let's oh, see. it says I don't put. It says I don't put my head into the computer. It says I initiate or break the link. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna enhance I'm Pretty sure you have to plug yourself into. Hold on. Let me just. I gotta remember where, which. Mac, you can keep GMing. I'm just looking up something. Yeah. Knowing that. Just checking. Is Savak on this trip? I'm assuming so. Okay, yeah, he's just the, the, I'm just going to say that the reason he's kept his silence this whole time is because he has no talents or focuses associated with anything going on with this field trip. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I can't, I can't figure out where the neural interface, um, is it enhancement? Done enhancement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Character has had a cybernetic device, allows them to interface with computers, so I guess you don't have to physically plug yourself in, and similar technologies with their thoughts, initiating or breaking the link between the minds and a computer system takes a minor action, and while they're connected they may roll a d20 gained from the, uh, the ship systems, however anytime the ship suffers a breach, which probably is not going to happen unless you release the sloth. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I imagine you can connect to the computer with your brain, like Wi-Fi, and kind of like, I don't know, what what, what are you trying to do? I know that's the GM supposed to ask you that, but I'm just curious. You there, Justin? Did I get sure. muted? No, you didn't. Um, I'm curious it as well. Because I, I, I'm afraid he's going to try to connect himself into the computer and then like throw us off course or something with a complication. <laughs> and he, his, his voice chat must have disconnected or something, or his mic. Perhaps. Anyway, please continue. Sorry for the interruption. And then now that I have now that I have looked up the uh, information on my pad about the sloth, I would look up information about the monkey. Ah, uh, yes, the monkey. Monkey. What I whatever information you can find, it's pretty much 
not on any Starfleet records. Oh, what, that's interesting. What little, whatever little information they have, it's due to the monkey in the room. So, so I get he's getting he's like scanning the monkey basically. Yeah. So pretty much you know the monkey in the room is like it's okay to even have it uh, have it out of the cage. It's okay. It's not lethal, it's not It's super domesticated whatever. basically. Yeah. Super. Mm. Yes. But yeah. having a a cat or dog around. So I have no information about potential pathogens that may be carrying, though. It's safe, is what he's it's saying. Safe. It's safe. Well, well, there are I... lots of animals that are safe, but then they can <laughs> carry diseases, though. And you're over there playing with it now, and I'm looking at you and giving you the dirty eye. <laughs> as a, as a GM, I feel like people. Mac. As a GM, I would feel like Mac would specify if if there was something that someone could catch from touching it but that's just and and, they, and also uh, the academy would not put an animal where you can interact with it if it had anything dangerous you say that yeah. but then there's a sloth sitting next to you so there, there's not a whole it's lot of in information case, we know so... about it though yeah yeah that too so there's there's a lot of and... there's a lot of iffy things going on but you know <laughs> but the, yeah, and... the thing about the sloth though is it's in a cage true but cages can be broken I'm staying away from those animals, <laughs> both of them. And Lieutenant Rona did tell um, hey. the cadet not to go fiddling around with the cage. Uh, are you um, uh, are you giving uh, Samson a dirty look? Uh, uh, I, I, he would uh, uh, jokingly uh, uh, get close to the m monkey as if to kiss it, but doesn't. <laughs> scratch him, scratch him, scratch him. Yeah, um, so the fact that you link with the ship, with, link with the shuttle with the neural interface, I didn't hear that part. Uh, yeah, I, I was talking to you, but I didn't hear you, so I assumed something was going on with the headset or whatever, but basically, you, um, yeah, you can, you can kind of interface your brain with the ship, um, but keep in mind, you're gonna have to roll for it, so if you get like a complication, then you could potentially throw us off course and stuff. So that's the only reason I'm kind of curious as to why you want to do that. Okay, then I yeah, and then I go back to my seat. Okay, so you're not linking water. with the ship then. I'm linking with I'm linking with the ship. Oh, you are. Okay. Since I link, now since I'm linked, I'm going to my seat. Okay. All right, Mac. Uh, what do you want him to roll for that? I'll go. Depending on what he's looking for. I'm not sure, but I think he just wants to make a general connection. So if, to say, there's an emergency, he'll be alerted to it. I'm not sure, but I think that's what he wants to do. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, that's all I want to do. I'm gonna say it made it. It made it sound like if he links with the ship, all he does is get an extra D20 from the ship. Like they use the computing power of the ship. Yeah. I think. I think the original purpose of the neural interface was like to gain information from the ship. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, the mechanical aspect is yeah. you get an extra D20, but essentially, like in story, you would be instead of using a tricorder to scan something, you'd basically be having like the internal ship sensors and the computer core at your disposal and all that stuff. But, uh, so what did you yeah. say, Mac, as far as rolling? What's he rolling? I'm going to say pretty much reason engineering. Okay. Good thing he's an engineering cadet. Yeah, and I just follow it right with two test roll and one complication range, right? Do you want to explain or do you want me to? Mac. You there, Mac? Uh, no, Mac just dropped out, I think. All right, so uh, if you're looking at the dice roller, which I see you are because I have your character sheet up, um, first of all, see if you have any focuses that apply. Um, Computers. Yeah, I would use that. So you just click yes by focus used. 
Um, complication range stays the same unless Mac decides to spend threat to increase it. I would because that's like the one thing it's good for. Um, but mm -hmm. other than that, uh, task roll stays at two unless you want to use one of one or both of the two momentum to increase it to three or four. And that's how many uh, dice you roll. Okay, then I've got to roll then. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the difficulty is, but I'm assuming it's not that difficult. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Mac, are you back yet? No. No, Yep, yeah, so you definitely critical successes, so I'm just going to... This is where having a code GM is helpful. So I'm just going to say that you successfully get onto the uh, computer connection or whatever, um, and I'll say that difficulty is one, so we have three momentum now. All right, so yeah, you're connected to the, you, you know the navigational route, you know that you have the access to ship sensors, you got everything, you know, library, everything you need. And if anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Mac still not here? That's weird. Mac never loses connection, so that's really weird. I'll message, yeah. message her real quick. Ayel turns to uh, Merc. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, no. Ayel turns to look over his shoulder at Rigor, 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 Rigor. I don't know. And because uh, he like senses something different, but he's not really sure what, because it's a computer, so it's not like he can sense the computer. But um, he looks over his shoulder, like sensing something different, and he gives him kind of like a weird look, like, huh? What's what? Are you, what's, what happened? Um, and then he kind of just turns back around. He does that Elok. What's up? I yield. Uh, my character is like right. Yeah, he looks to you, Elok Rigor. He he looks over his shoulder because he's sitting right in front of you. Oh, I just, I, I'm just, like, I'm just normal. Nothing. That, there was nothing that happened. Yeah, in my mind. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like you're, he, there's nothing to indicate to a yield what happened. So he just turns back around, like, oh, whatever. I, he kind of shrugs to himself, like, eh, I guess, I guess I just uh, thought I thought I sensed something, but not really. <laughs> um, he turns and says, "Hey, Mark, uh, what what part of the field trip are you looking forward to?" No, they're sure. I guess I'm. Going to defend a uh, a sloth, I guess. <laughs> he <laughs> kind of <laughs>, laughs. He's like, I don't think that's the nature of the field trip. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think we're supposed to study the animals, or maybe eat oh, that too. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, like you know, I, I'm pretty sure the fact that the science instructor Lieutenant Runa is taking us is kind of uh, it's kind of more of a biology, botany kind of field trip, I think. Just, just my guess, though. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. It'd be kind of. Yeah. I was looking forward to defend some animals, though. <laughs> no, I, I, I think most of them would be able to take care of themselves if they're in a zoo <laughs> behind fences and in cages. But again, I guess it depends on what you're defending them against. I haven't, I haven't much, much was messed much with sloths before. Yeah, no, I, I can't say that I have either. I I can um, pretty much guarantee you this is the first time I've ever been this close to a sloth. I'm pretty sure. Monkey too, for that matter. Matter. Definitely uh, a new a new experience. Oh, so yeah, Max, Max back. Hey, Mac, welcome back. Sorry about that. I was just in a phone call. It's it was in. Good. It was the important phone call. Understandable. I I just. Uh, did the whole thing with the neural interface he connected and also I'm talking to Merck about how I've never been this close to a sloth before and that's pretty much it yep. me okay. neither 
Yeah. And Samson um, would say me neither. <laughs> he, First he, time around a monkey, too. Monkey. Aiel I, I, le- leans over to Mark and is like, I, I hope that sloth scratches his face. <laughs> <laughs> you make him more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah sort of- Samson would go, I heard that. <laughs> Oh, I, I guess he has Ferengi ear. Uh, no, no offense. Then <laughs> <laughs> uh, taken. I guess we can keep it down. Yeah. You hear better than we thought. <laughs> so sort of leans over I, to. Oh, I, what, which, by the way, you don't sense any anger coming from him about that at all. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good. So, so leans over. Cadet to cadet problems. <laughs> <laughs> cadet to cadet contact, am I right? <laughs> but yeah, Soth leads over to Berthold uh, and sort of says in a slightly lower voice, <laughs> everybody seems to be treating these creatures like they're apex predators. Yeah, cutting, <laughs> cutting out. Cutting out. <laughs> cutting out. Oh, sorry. Oh. I do have a... I'll speak more clearly. Everybody appears to be treating these creatures like they're apex predators, but Looking at the pad, uh, and just looks confused. <laughs> I, 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 why do I have a look? <laughs> he just pa- passes over the pad and just, am I missing something? <laughs> I look at the pad, um, then look back at the mo- at the monkey, then back at the pad, look back at the monkey. <laughs> at least that monkey isn't a chimpanzee. Yep. Yes, I I read something about that in the the localization files yes. before it came to Earth. You mean the? It's cut you out. mean the Gambi, the Gambi chimpanzee war? <laughs> out of character, I don't know if you're lying. <laughs> but no. so, you not, so he's just gonna. I just casually <laughs> reference a, a real life Earth event <laughs> prior to the eugenics wars. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Soth is going to look at, at you quizzically, as in, like, I, I, I do not know of this. Please explain more. <laughs> From a standpoint, chip, the Earth's, Earth's chimpanzees have a tendency to be extremely violent, especially towards one another, as, along with cannibalization, with premeditated murder. At one point, in, all the way in the, in the continent of Africa, they actually had a war. Two groups of chimpanzees, well, three, had a full-scale war. They, with uh, each uh, other or with the humans? With I, each other. Aiel is gonna, hearing this, Aiel is going to lean over to Mark and say this is going to be a long three hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, with each other. Cannibalism, yeah. Uh, 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 Sam, Samson, after petting the monkey, he would uh, uh, lean up against uh, the wall of the, the uh, bulkhead and uh, go to sleep, and under his breath, he'd go, I miss the farm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 well, I'm just casually talking about the Gombe chimpanzee for the I still have to know about He misses. What did you say he missed? Sorry. He said he missed hey, the he, farm. He oh. Yeah. <laughs> Soth will smile uh, and be slightly you know, amused by this, but he, he gets it uh, before looking back over at the monkey and going, well, at least that isn't a, an earth chimpanzee, so we'll be safe. And he looks at Berthold. Yeah, we'll be safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a shuttle full of, of, of the Starfleet's finest of tomorrow. One monkey. Mm-hmm. My, my money is well not. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> well, 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 uh, yeah. Of course, there would always be someone who would accidentally, quote unquote, release the sloth. <laughs> it would take him like an hour to get to us. We'd be off the ship by then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Now, um, as now, as now talking about the monkey, you like us. Okay, what does the computer know about this monkey? And just wants it, and just starts looking for medical files on the monkey. You know, trying to figure out. Okay, should he get away from the monkey or should he stay where he's at? I think the monkey is a blank slate. There's no yeah. information on it in the computer. At least that's what. Max it's a said brand. Earlier. Maybe it's a brand new yep. discovered monkey. 
Yeah. Yep. Oh. But you'd probably find a lot about the sloth. I'm looking up the sloth. Look up the sloth then. Last time, like he just said, he but he's just sitting there. Um, look at it. He's using his pad to do to use an orange face. I mean, he's he's looking at the pad to make everyone think, oh, he's just looking at the pad when he's actually in the in the computer library computer looking at looking for a sloth. I mean, oh, no on that. Make him roll a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, deception, it's not deception, is it? I mean, if you're pretending to look at a pad, and you're really yeah. in the computer, I'm, I'm, I just want the the ship to go off course for some reason. Roll for it, roll for it. Huh? Roll for it. Okay, would I roll? Present something. Yep, present some. Um... Command question mark? I don't know. Command, I think mark, it could be. Mark, I think he could argue engineering, seeing as how he's got to yeah. maintain a connection with the ship. But I would, I'd, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, command, either one. <laughs> I got command. What's the um, difficulty? Count. I want to look at his stats so I can see how what how how likely this is gonna fail. Well, he's got a good he's got a good present score, so that's good. Um, do you want to spend any more momentum to get more dice? Um, if he's gonna make me do this, yes. Um, <laughs> since I'm using a computer, don't, don't I get an extra D20 from the ship? Oh yeah, you do. So I'll automatically put it up to three, and then you can put it up to four if you buy another dice with the uh, momentum. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so yeah, put it up. Yeah, I got him. Cool. So, down to two momentum. so okay. he's rolling with four dice. He shouldn't fail. Oh. <laughs> Famous last words. I don't know. <laughs> um, what's the difficulty level? Do that. I, I'm not gonna say. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's okay, a mystery no. difficulty level. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. No no. Ooh, two. Oh. Uh oh. What does that mean, Mac? Oh, no. <laughs> he, if he was looking at the pad and trying to make a connection, oh no, he well, needed a three. This, uh, uh, so I, I mean, this is up to you, obviously, Jim. But how I would do it is, if he failed the deception check, then that just means that people figure out what he's doing. It doesn't necessarily mean he like <laughs> fails the connection itself. So I would have the instructor see it, but that's up, it's completely up to you how you want to do it. That's how I would do it. Um, put it this way: you it doesn't break or anything, but you notice uh, if you look towards the instructor, <laughs> she knows. She yeah. knows during the, the and, computer. And, and where she's sitting, she could like look at your pad and see that you're not even like it's black. It's like blank. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah. thank it. <laughs> you you accidentally hit the exit button and then kept staring <laughs> at it. Mm. Yep. That, that's gonna be interesting. I, um, when that just looks at me like that, I go. I I literally just on the um pad when when he looks at me like that, then and and then actually. I was on the computer, look at the pad even more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you double down on that deception. <laughs> <laughs> Just stare harder, it'll it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> and he feels like um we don't know Bez, we don't know Bez, Bez, bleh, Bez's ways, do we? Uh, I'm empathic, can... but I'm not. A telepath. I I know there's something going on emotionally with you, but I don't know. Like I can't read your mind. Oh, then the only emotion that he's portraying right now is like, you know how when you get caught with something, yeah. you go like, oh, <laughs> like shoot. you're that's embarrassed like, that's, that's and, and and anxious at the same time. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he looks over his shoulder and he he like. Look, sees the the pad is like he's like he's doing that thing where he's like he's trying to pull up a bunch of windows on his pads. So it looks like he's busy. And hey, he's like, I'll be right back. You... I need to eat some steak. Okay, so he's like looking like, what are you doing? Um, 
he doesn't say nothing. He just says, he just looks up at Hugo with that very look and goes, oh. and puts it back to his face like he's like, really embarrassed. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, heads up, if I start to go off the rails, please try to keep me on the rails so I can make this a good game. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's It'll okay. All right, in fine. case you haven't noticed, we all go a little off the rails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then, so, I have a, um, you hear one of the pilots. You hear one of the pilots go back and say, "30 minutes." Nope. We have thirty minutes. Ooh. Hey, I, I know where we're heading, right? We. I, well, I don't know if we did, did. Mac, did you did did Lieutenant Runa give us like the coordinates, like the actual planet, or did she just say a zoo planet? She said a zoo planet. Uh, yeah, so we know we're going to a zoo planet. That's pretty much it. But when I'm connected to the ship, I know where we're going. Oh, yeah, you would know. Yeah, I forgot about that. You would know the coordinates and everything. Um, I'm going to, even though I will, I will keep quiet about this, but I'm going to look up the planet where we're heading to and look up where we're, you know, just try to get into the surprise without getting to, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So you're trying to sneak into the instructors folders and see like exactly where we're going is that what you're saying no no, no, no. i'm going to use the data the actual database for the planet oh you're the, just looking at the navigational charts basically to see where we're headed yeah and then on the, once i forget where we're headed go to um what's it called oh hang on he wants to look at the ship's wikipedia and figure out about the planet yeah i was yeah, gonna say memory you. alpha memory alpha is probably what he's uh, okay, yeah. La- Lactra 7, I'm going to put it in Memory Alpha and actually look it up because I don't remember that. Out of the 52,000 pages on Memory Alpha, that's not one of the ones I memorize. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so it is an actual place. Oh, that's cool. From the yep. original, from the uh, animated series. It is. So we're going to a place with a telepathic species. Well, we don't know that, though. You know that. <laughs> Rigor okay. knows that. Nobody else knows that. Um, yeah. As soon as I get the information, instead of being embarrassed or anything, I literally start help, trying to clear my mind, trying to you know, get ready for this yeah so like even though i my character you cannot read your mind he knows like you're anxious and and like worried about something so he looks over he's like dude what is going on with you um he says he only says Be quiet i'm meditating and this uh, gets into me into a meditative <laughs> state you know what i'm gonna go sit by the sloth and he like gets up and because he's like <laughs> too much emotions going on right now he's like he goes to the back <laughs> of the bus basically and sits next to samson he's like Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, Samson go, hey, oh, he would wake up and go, oh, hey, and uh, sit up. And... Uh, I'm just sitting here because this dude up there is being all anxious and it's worrying me. Oh, I gotcha. You won't feel oh. worry for me. No, just, just your depression, depression. he mutters. <laughs> hey, would I glance over at him like he's about first time you've ever seen him mad he looks like he's about to kill you like <laughs> don't you tell anybody my secret you asshole <laughs> hey, he, he looks over he's like don't worry if I was going to tell anyone I already done it already Lieutenant Renner um turns over to you Stu you stop being depressed you just <laughs> stay, stay seated somewhere Sorry, sir. Yeah, I forgot Lieutenant Rune is also, also half Delton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, my character actually goes to sit on the floor, um, like, so, you know, in the empty kind of thing. And he just, he's just sitting there meditating, trying to get his mind clear, trying, he's actually looking up, 
on his pilot looking up meditate like how you meditate and stuff. Getting getting prepared for the planet. And so. you you hear from the back she goes, Get out of the computer system. <laughs> <laughs> you tripped the coat you tripped the alarm. <laughs> Um, I, I just hit myself from the computer system. Get out of the computer system, everything's fine. Yeah. Hey, that instructor uh, I just puts everyone on blast. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, yeah, he like just dis disconnects his orange face. And Lieutenant Rona um, stands up and says, "Now that one of you knows where we're actually going," and she looks to <laughs> this, to this one, "We're actually going to Alpha Seven. It's a um, empathic uh, world with a zoo." Uh, the, uh, Aiel looks, looks over and says, Sir, or Instructor, Lieutenant, um, I don't remember much about Lactra 7, but I vaguely know that they have a telepathic species living there. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it if I could sit this one out and just you know, hang out on the shuttle while you guys have fun on the planet. Could, could I do that? Well, I think it'll be useful for you to come along. They aren't going to be having anyone around us. We're just going to... Because they're going to be coming on for the sloth. Right. And I don't think you want to be around when they're actually going to be able to read minds she says it to everyone and we're going to see more of the zoo when you say that I feel, you feel a, a little bit of guilt and uh, anxiety from him um, uh, Samson would uh, put his hand on your shoulder like, I got you. He just looks over at your hand on his shoulder, and he, then he looks to you, then hit the hand on his shoulder, and then back to you, and he's like, excuse me? I got you, you'll be alright. <sighs> he just deflates. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um you like... Just, uh, he whispers to you, hey, if it gets too much, just concentrate on my depression. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he sort of laughs when he says it. Oh my god, he just shakes his head. <laughs> You're hearing chatter in the cockpit. You're hearing um, flight control saying, you have clearance to land. Alright, we are, looks like we're almost there, people. Yep. I'm back, what did I miss? We're almost to the planet. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's time to put your chair in the upright position. <laughs> Nothing of consequence. <laughs> some people got called out and some other people made a mistake in the chair they moved to. But other than that, not really. Whole, I guess I guess during this whole time, Corbin has just decided to just take a brief nap. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Basically, people around you are going to tell you to watch out. There's telepaths that own the planet. Yeah. And it, um, before we hit the planet, he like just tries to clear his mind <laughs> of all thoughts, and except for the neuron face, he wants to figure out how he can do that better. Don't expect just knowing it, so he's going to think about. He does something he's going to think about until we get to the planet. Then he's going. To, then he's going to erase that from his memory too. Oh, okay, I was gonna say 
So basically, the only thing he's going to think about around all these telepaths is how he needs to be better at sneaking into computers. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically, um, roll me a presence um, command. Uh, okay. Everybody yet? Uh, oh, nice. Whoa. Nice. Wow, we. <laughs> you're struggling to control your emotions, so. Um. Uh. You're. I have to get computers too. Yeah, but you're not in the computer anymore, are you? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is more of a, a mental thing. Yeah, it was more mental. See if you can push all the thoughts out and you're still are struggling to do so. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll just hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, you hope for the best. I'm. Oh, I need to hope for the best too. So the two of us have to hope for the best. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is land so, safely? Uh, do you just want to do anything before we land? Uh, Aiel is going to try to be the first person out the door. <laughs> yep. And we, Eli is, going, is right behind him, too. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So when you land, um, you land on... I gotta move me. By the way, if y'all are GMs on Roll20, don't forget to move yourself. Move the player thing. Or move yourself when the Mac moves the player's thing. A paradise. Yes, I'm... <laughs> uh, we come across a passed away team. <laughs> yes. It's like, like yeah, another episode of the original series. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it was the only closest unexplored, <laughs> yeah, tropical paradise, I should say. It's all good. Hey, I can... Well, I might be able to... Don't, don't quote me, but I might be able to do something. Hold on. Uh, with height... Anyway, yeah, continue. I'm just doing stuff. When you get out the door, um, basically people... You notice that, um... They, uh... The people who right. live there are actually walking, um... Back onto the shuttle to get the slot. Okay. And the zookeeper comes over to Lieutenant Runa with the monkey on his shoulder. Ah, uh, thanks for delivering the this little one. And she goes, "No problem. Um, he got well fed by acadets. He'd be a fun addition to the zoo." You're gonna put us in a zoo? <laughs> no. No, oh, the, the monkey. Monkey, oh, oh. right. Oh, right, right. Monkey oh. is slow. Gotcha, sorry. <laughs> Obviously, my, mind's, my <laughs> mind is elsewhere. <laughs> monkey is slow, <laughs> staying here. And if I you... hope you don't mind that we do walk around. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead. You obviously know the map worker, Lieutenant Runa. Yes, I spent a few years here, so... Aiel asks, uh, 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 Instructor, can, are we allowed to, like, are we going to stay together or can we, you know, some of us wander off in, in a non suspicious way in a different direction? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I look over Listen. to whoever asked that and just, <laughs> with the face, just, just gives off the whole vibes of, why would you ask that? <laughs> So, so, so I'll, like lean in to 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 Bert Hull, uh, or, or Cor Corvinus and and say, do, do you think he realizes that asking to do something non suspiciously <laughs> makes it immediately suspicious? <laughs> it is honestly very clear that is that just sounds extremely suspicious if you claim for it to be not suspicious. 
By the way, uh, GM, those people that took the um, the sloth or monkey, are they the telepaths or are they just Starfleet zookeepers? They're the telepaths that work with Starfleet um, zookeepers. Okay, I'm gonna message you what um, what they would get from my character. Then. Gosh, I stepped away from my, my mic for a second. I come back and find out about monkey theft. <laughs> Basically, that's why I'm like, uh, yeah, it, um, Lieutenant Runner was like, yeah, I, I'll take the students on the tour without anyone. Yeah. Mm. Alright, well, yep, yeah, Ayo follows obediently and definitely, uh, not suspiciously. <laughs> <laughs> is, um,. Is, is this tour area sort of zoo as we might imagine it, or is it big, wide, open spaces, uh, a little bit more yeah. wild? Yes, it's a little bit more wild where basically the animals can actually roam free. Mm. So we take vehicles. Oh, awesome. Where Are they ground vehicles? Is it an Argo? Do I get to drive an Argo? Hey. Yes. <laughs> who's got who's who's got land who's got uh, ground vehicles as a focus? This is your time. <laughs> uh no. I don't think I do either. I don't Oh shit, I didn't put my focus on the character. Now I've seen I've seen a classic Earth film about a park <laughs> that had beasts Jurassic that got loose. Yes, yes, it was something like that. Um, are there carnivores, large carnivores, in this zoo planet that roam? Um, yes. Uh, how are we to defend ourselves if something were to occur? Obviously, we don't want to permanently injure any of these animals. I, I, but... I, I, I makes the, 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 the finger, like if you're looking at my screen, the finger like that going across it. It says, <laughs> by running away. <laughs> what? You, do, do you not understand that running often provokes the predators to attack you first? Look, Ayol is not a zookeeper. Ayol is a... I don't know what Ayol is, to be honest with you. Oh, he's, he's in the distance, he's like... Basically, in the distance, you see a dragon flying overhead. Uh, what? A uh, what? <laughs> yep. A uh, wh uh, what? Someone likes it's, uh, 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 fucking kid. What is that show? I just blanked on it. Game of Thrones. Someone likes Game of Thrones too much. <laughs> is, is, yeah, is this a field um, trip where we have been permitted to bring our faces? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where, um... Lieutenant Bruna says that we're coming up to the unicorn pen. The unicorn pen? Is that what you said? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah the unicorn. See? Awesome. Okay. Completely the part where my character, where my character would be wondering aloud if this was a dragon. What have you got us into? My character would be wondering, am I a, am I asleep? Did I fall asleep on the shuttle? <laughs> and now I'm dreaming. Mm-hmm. Velik would be wondering that as well, actually. <laughs> is he still in meditation, um, or what is happening? Unicorn, is that a earth animal? Or... <laughs> sort, sort of, of kind of? <laughs> so, so I was wondering if this is now less of a zoo, more, admittedly he's not massively familiar with Earth Legend, but less of a zoo, more of a genetic engineering facility, where they've created these creatures and let them out into the wild? Uh, I, oh you know, my god, I, they I, brought back the dinosaurs! Oh no! I, as he's looking up at the dragon, I yield says, you know, I did hear that there was a special unit called S-Unit out there that was in <coughs> charge of uh, locating and containing uh, and securing uh, these kind of weird... Uh, abominable things that they call animals I guess here but not sure if this is what that is or not my um my character actually says this out loud you sure you said unicorn they're not real you look to and the side there's there's this... and when he says that like did I just say that out loud <laughs> I was supposed to be thinking that <laughs> 
you look to the side and you say this um, horse that has a pointy thing at the end. It's like a cone, but it's like colorful on the cone and the... So not just a unicorn, okay. but a unicorn with a rainbow horn. Is that what you're saying? Yep, a rainbow horn. Awesome. <laughs> Max is going to be pooping out gold or something. <laughs> God. We can only hope. <laughs> Okay. For the Frankie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you see in the off in the distance, it, uh, Lieutenant Werner says we can get out and actually pat him. Uh, I think I yells good <laughs> in the in the I, vehicle. If if Soft looks up unicorn on Memory Alpha, <laughs> does it come out with like legendary mythical animal? That, yeah, I'm actually gonna look it up. <laughs> yeah. If, if if it comes out with you know this is a this is an earth human myth, Soth is 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 going to cut cut through it and just turn to to Lieutenant Runa, uh, and, like and people going to uh, start recreating other um, <laughs> myths. Maybe and and just ask, uh, Lieutenant. Perhaps I have uh, misunderstood something, but according to this entry, this creature never existed. It's not even a a, a resurrected species. What what is happening here? This is this is not a, a conventional zoo. What's occurred to allow all this to happen? Um, when you say that, I like, you like a, maybe I'm right. <laughs> oh my god, I have to speak that up. Mm. It happens occasionally. <laughs> Basically, um, different planets hold different species, and sometimes what we think is mythical is actually real. <gasps> Wait a minute, Aiel says. Are you saying that in the ancient past, in like mythological times of Earth, there was an alien that came to Earth with a unicorn and a dragon, and then the people just assumed that it was a mythical beast when it was really just an alien animal? Yes. Um, oh, that's disappointing. Blame TNG, okay? <laughs> Wait, uh, you mean like a. MTNG for their episode. Remember that episode? We planted yeah, the beans everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> when you say that, you like, do we have our track orders on us? It's, good it's, it's part of standard. Yes. You always should have one. Mm. Yeah. Because um, I think, I'm not going to have the track order. I'm really, um, it's going to be strange, but I'm really going, okay, is this a cybernetic? Like, he's looking for um, cybernetics. In the unicorn, like okay, so this can't be wrong. That you know, he's you see him go from embarrassed anxiety to go no, this can't yeah, be wrong. Yeah, it's exclamation point. Basically, <laughs> the um unicorn uh, has the same makeup as a horse, but the only difference is is the pointy end of the. That feels like genetics, like eugenics, then. Yeah. Um, I have a focus called Cybernetic Medicine, and I like to, and I also have a talent called Field Medicine. I actually want to see if the horn is cybernetic in some way, because he's right now he's in disbelief. I can like no, no, no. And he's looking for any explanation now. Well, if you if the if the horse is not cybernetic, then your focus of cybernetic wouldn't apply. So. It's not cybernetic. Will my um, will my talent for medicine come to effect then, or to be, to actually to ask, yeah, it doesn't um, like not really because you're not doing medicine in the field on a person or even a unicorn. You're just scanning it basically. So the tricorder basically would give you everything you would need to know. And like if you needed any additional information, if you got momentum, then you could spend that to ask questions. But yeah. You there, Mac? Yep, I'm here. Okay, I didn't hear anyone for a good while. Um yeah, even though that's what the track horse, he, he, um, he looks at the track horse and says, yeah, this can't be real. I mean, he's trying, he's an engineer, he believes in facts, not 
he's seeing, so he's uh, he's actually looking at all the facts on the track record and then escape me wrong. And he's just anything to make to go you know what I mean? He's like just spec yeah. Spectable spec such a such a septic. Uh, he's like no. And he's just trying to find an explanation. As as a trill that didn't grow up on Earth, I'm like What's your fascination? It's a quadruped with a horn on its head. <laughs> you would know and that the planets, uh, these four planets are known to have unicorns on them. Or what? horses well, he with horns on their heads. Yep. He finds that information and he goes, okay, I'm seeing the atmosphere then. And he, I mean, like, he, oh, let's see. Then, then once he goes, um, hmm, let's see, and he just goes, okay, fine, I'll quit, and puts the track quarter away. Just, just enjoy the show. I'm sure we'll all see things that we don't quite understand or did not believe were possible. That's the beauty of the diversity of biology. Plus space. Yeah. Yeah, Ayo says. <laughs> <laughs> space is big. Yes. It's sometimes a bitch. Mm. Mm. So, so, uh, accepts the, the evidence of his eyes in this tricorder, and, and rather than going down the whole this isn't real line, it's more a case of, huh, we were wrong line. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, he will. It, it, it's the same. Of, oh, sorry, carry on. Basically, he's a. Basically, you would see uh, alien horses run past as well, and horses from Earth as well. Uh, yeah. Soth will ask the lieutenant, uh, uh, Lieutenant, does this particular zoo specialize in these mythological, he almost does air quotes <laughs> around that because they're clearly not myths, uh, mythological or creatures? Basically, whatever creatures on they try to take in at least species of each and every creature that's in the planet in the galaxy so they can actually not worry about them going extinct or anything like that. Hmm. He, he nods his head uh, and says something along the lines of, well, I would be... Uh, very grateful to receive uh, some sort of very basic uh, inventory or list of the various species on this planet so as that I can cross-reference them with other things that are supposedly mythical and take a few of them out of the fiction column and put them in the fact column. So just out of curiosity's sake, do you have humpback whales here? And did you have them here before 2286? Because that could have been very important. <laughs> no, we didn't have them before 2286. The couple of descendants from those whales are actually are in that lake over there. Ah, so they had not been, you had not collected a sample uh, before the extinction in the late 20th century. Yes, that's correct. And uh, mm. cadet. Um, see, e Elak, um, have, since he's trying to believe it, um, he uses his stomach eyes and zoom in on the animal more to look, just to study it more. As we're walking, he, you know what I mean? Yeah, as you uh, continue walking, you see various, uh, various species wandering around including Andorian bulls in the opposite direction. Um, Six-legged uh, six centipedes and lizards. Oh, I'm running away from them centipedes. <laughs> I, I cut out after my amazing Star Trek IV reference. It... You... Go, oh, please, carry on. 
in the water you also see some whales, some dolphins. Hmm. You, you mentioned Andorian bulls. This is where my own knowledge of Andoria is perhaps lacking. Are they supposed to be extinct? They're, mm, they're supposed to, but there are the only ones that they know of is on this planet. Right. They're actually thriving. Okay, well, uh, uh, un unless somebody says, like, oh no, you know, don't get too far from the group, or unless Soth realizes he's starting to get too far from the group, he'll try not to break eye line. Uh, he'll he'll try and get up to some kind of vantage point uh, and, and where he can get a real good look at the Andorian bulls. And if he th thinks he can snag uh, a sort of a photograph equivalent without, without startling them, obviously no flash or anything along those lines, uh, he will. Uh, and he, he'll, he'll just be staring at them. <laughs> I have a question. Well, I have said that. Um, on, I'll never mind. I'll put it into the chat. Yep. That's what they look like. I put a picture of the Andorian bulls uh, as by some random artist online in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> since. Since. Uh, uh, Bert Holt has been the one that, that Soth's been chatting to most. Soth will like wave, wave Bert Holt up and say in a whisper, uh, and he's sort of crouched like he's almost stalking the bulls, even though the bulls, I think, were some way off. Uh, and, and, and we'll say in a whisper, say, which creature from your customs and you're cutting sorry. out again? Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, I do apologize. Start again. Uh, which creature from your customs and your uh, past and culture do you think is the most mythical? Excluding ones you've already seen, that would be cheating. We have a... <laughs> um, I sent a message to the DM on World 20. I don't know if y'all got it, though. Mac, did you get that, yeah. too, or did I, just, did I just get it? I got it as well. Okay. I'll let you answer that, then. I mean, you can. There was one... There was one mythological creature that was. Um, do you say I can or I can't? You what? can. Okay. Then yeah, that's what he's doing. Yep, I'm allowing you to do it. Okay. Sorry, my my mom is continually interrupting me. <laughs> Don't worry. You can carry on when you're ready, battle. <laughs> Yeah, I heard you say something about uh, there's a mythological creature that something, something, something. She, uh, basically, Lieutenant one. Bruno says there are a few creatures in here that uh, we can actually see. Uh, going to see. She points to a cave. Ooh. Well, a very, very big wolf. A very big wolf that you think yes. is mythical. Do you mean a dire okay. wolf? No, like, <laughs> ever heard of Fenrir? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Um, uh, well, Soth will sort of lean in with a slight conspiratorial smile uh, and say, well, uh, I'm an optimist, so... What do you want to do? Uh, to, and this is like a whisper conversation between them. Uh, I'm an optimist, so what do you say? I bet you one you know, round at the at the student and uh, cadet uh, free I'm still free. Out, dude. Oh, sorry. I, I I apologize. Everybody else, tell me if I am. Uh, I bet you one round at the cadet bar that that creature, the Fenris, is real. You want to take that, and then we can, and then we can look it up. <laughs> Perhaps. He's sort of like he—he—he he, he knows it's like a, a human custom to, to to shake on a bat, so he'll put out a hand to shake on a bat. <laughs> I will shake on it. <laughs> <laughs> bat shaken on, uh, and then yes, he'll he'll try and look up 
uh, uh, presumably we've got some kind of access to the local system. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, but he'll he'll look up, and if he, if he can't find it, he'll ask Lieutenant Runa if that particular animal is real or mythical. I think that should be a, ra- a random, because I looked it up on Memory <laughs> Alpha just now, and I didn't find it. I think that should be something that's left up to the dice to decide. That way it's... Uh... Let the dice gods decide. Yeah. It's like, it, yeah. Of course, yes. there's always one thing that could be impossible to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> Allow so, me to show you... Something out of a Lovecraftian horror novel. I'm wrong. Ooh. A D4 for that's a reason. A <laughs> to leave it up to dice gods. So, yeah, it's going to be left up to the dice gods. Here we go. What is three mean? Out, <laughs> out of nowhere, you see a femme wolf, wolf walk past you. Jeez, you got... Mm. Big wolf! <laughs> Apparently... That... <laughs> I'm imagining Corvinus is all like, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh. It, it seems it, I am going to get wasted. It, yeah, I was about to say, in, in, in the midst of their sort of, ooh, soft just leans over and goes, won't be a drink. I was like, it, uh, even was no, and yeah. You guess where it is. God was, yes. <laughs> yes. If I had the nearest sip of water, I would have had a spit take after seeing a freaking Fenry just walk past casually. <laughs> yep. Aeol, Aeol's gonna hide in the cave that uh, Runa mentioned. <laughs> nah. So- Soth is grinning ear to ear, partly at the idea that you won a bet, but also partly at the idea that, that Bethold is just so stunned and happy. <laughs> you were putting out again. See- Oh, okay, but I don't know if it's just me. Okay, so Soth is grinning ear to ear, uh, A, at the idea that he won a bet, uh, and B, at the uh, at Berthold just being you know, surprised and happy and like, ooh, he's, he's taking some degree of joy in that as well. It's real? It's actually real? Yeah. Behold my masterpiece in chat. The Andorian Bull. <laughs> yes. that's what, oh no <laughs> that's that's how we were all imagining it before I posted my picture mm-hmm. yep uh, soft pats uh, uh, Cor- Corvinus on the back and goes go on let's go to a cave yep Wait, what? <laughs> let's go to a cave <laughs> yeah <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yep. I knew yes. when she Big when she said uh, yeah. Ben Wolf, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to the dice squads. <laughs> Cause yeah. By the way, what is uh since Aeels went in first uh, to the cave, what does he see? You see that's and little spiders running around. Alright, Ayo leaves the cave. (laughs) (laughs) There's no way he's standing there by himself. (laughs) Um, Lieutenant Runa starts walking in. He says, says, Instructor, I don't want to stay in a cave with a bunch of bats and spiders. I'm sorry. They aren't poisonous. I I like how he's, as soon as the instructor comes in, he's at attention. (laughs) Uh, um, <laughs> Lieutenant Runa picks up one of the spiders and goes, oh, okay, I'm you're leaving. poison. No, nope, I'm leaving. Bye, see ya. I'm going back to the shuttle. <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry, that's, that's where I got mine. That's where I got mine. Uh, Sam, uh, Samson, uh, uh, Samson walk, walks up and is looking at the spider quite interested. Nope, not me. Let me roll a constitution check. I want to puke. <laughs> basically, Raw fitness. Basically, basically, Lieutenant Runa um says they already drained out the venom from it. Oh no! I, could... I only got one success. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't think you. Uh, I think you would uh, pick one up uh, if it was dangerous, Lieutenant. Yeah. 
Mm. Basically, they usually drain out the venom of the spiders. So, this is actually a... Is that a spider or a dog? A spider. By the way, how big are they? Are they like the size of those paluku spiders that are actually the size of a dog? Or are they like tarantula-sized? Tarantula-sized. Right, yeah, he's standing in the back of the line of the group now. Yeah. Basically... Um, Lieutenant Runa says they always drain out the venom of the spiders so people can walk through and they make sure the bats are always clean and none of them are poisonous. Still okay. in the back. It, um, Eli um, just looks up and with his um, eyes just zooms in and then goes back to normal and goes back to the instructor. You see in her hand, she is holding a wolf spider. A wolf spider? Yep. Now, that could be anything. That could be like a, a earth wolf spider, or that could be like an actual spider that is like the size and shape of a wolf on this planet. So, you gotta let it's me know. It's an actual wolf spider. Okay, well, it's I'm still in the back. Wolf. I'm still in the back of the line. I'm not going anywhere near these spiders. <laughs> Um, um, mm. um, you're feeling something on your leg. No, I'm not. I am running. <laughs> <laughs> I am running as fast as I can out of this stupid cave. I don't know who invented this zoo, but they should be shot. <laughs> um, Eli, um, just looking around, if someone runs out of the cave, he actually zoo. As he says, ah, Susan, and just watches intently until, he, until that person's out of sight and then gets back to the spider. I think that's Susan's ass. Yeah. Well, if. I apologize if I'm interrupting anybody. It, uh, you can tell me to shut up. But if. Um, uh, Ail is, is running uh, and nobody appears to be giving chase, uh, <laughs> Soth will. Just sort of like pat bit hold on the back in a sort of like I'll be back in a minute <laughs> uh, and run after uh, Ail to make sure that you know he doesn't get separated and that he doesn't get left alone uh, and we'll try to to calm Ail to to stand down and and just like try and soothe him give him some reassuring words uh, and if there really is a, a spider on his leg or some such uh, what Soth will try to do is like put his hand out and like coax the spider onto his hand very delicately and then just just try and like walk it back indicate there's nothing to be worried about well if there is a spider on his leg when you walk out of the cave <laughs> you see him punching himself in the leg repeatedly um and <laughs> possibly rolling around on the ground maybe throwing his entire lower body against a wall he might even just start stripping right there uh there's any oh. number of things could happen with a spider is involved <laughs> mm-hmm Basically, Everyone Lieutenant Runa. until Spooner jumps down. <laughs> Lieutenant Runa actually walks outside and she goes, "Cadet, please stop right now." Uh, there's a spider. I felt it. <laughs> she grabs his leg and basically grabs the spider off him. Oh my god! And he backs away as much as he possibly can without like leaving the planet. Basically, she let the spider go back into the cave. Stop punching yourself now. After <laughs> I have to write up a report. I'm sorry. I'm just, I, as you can tell, I am a very anti-spider person. Yeah. Yeah. How is no? How is everyone acting like this is normal? <laughs> Why am I the uh, only one? I'm looking <laughs> over what? to the poor individual, though. I am, of course. I'm not really a fond of spiders because, you know, there might be some that might be like the ones from Aus- from Earth's Australia and definitely kill one of us. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully not. Please, no. Oh, the wolf spider is from Australia. Yep. I'm at the back of the line now. Okay. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sauce. So- 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 thought at seeing Ail's reaction. He does not voice this, but it's his thought, and so I don't know to what... Uh, uh, 
people will pick up on it, uh, is it's not contemptuous, it is, it, it's sympathetic, but the wording is something along the lines of, like, if this is how you react to spiders, how are you <laughs> going to react when, when, when crewmen around you have got their intestines right. on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this Fair is, enough. <laughs> uh, but what, but, what Soth will attempt to do is to be to be reassuring because uh, criticism and beratement at this point serves no one, uh, and he'll just sort of like sit down next to Aeol, wait for Aeol to calm down, uh, and will encourage Aeol to like you know hum a tune or whatever. Uh, and if Aeol feels the need to, uh, well, no, he, he sort of offers Aeol uh, that if uh, you should have a, a problem with a uh, an infection or a poison, and I guarantee you, you won't. Feel free to do that, and he gestures to the punching. <laughs> to me, instead, as punishment for my false guarantee of your safety. Uh, thanks? <laughs> says questioningly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, and he sort of, like, he's, he, he tries to just, like, put one arm around Aeol and gently move him up, but he won't force anything. Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll, and, go back, and sort of, he'll go back in the cave, but he's going to stay at the back with Bertolt. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Runa walks back into the cave, and put it this way, as she does, um, out of nowhere, she ends up something literally quickly goes past her and one minute you notice that actually she's walking in and the next minute she's actually on the ground bleeding. Uh, do I oh, feel, sense or feel anything from any, well besides besides from the cadets, but do I sense or feel anything from Runa or like another person or creature that would have done whatever it was that was done? Basically, whatever the creature was, it likes the night. Oh, well, that could be anything in a cave. <laughs> mm. um, if I can just see the person, the other character bleeding. But you also notice that um, as she gets knocked into the wall and her arm and side is bleeding as well as her head. Um, mm -hmm. The cave is being caved in. The door. Oh, uh, I'm okay. spinning around oh. quickly as soon as I hear that happen. And uh, like, yeah, when, when you know, please finish. No, I was just gonna say like I, I like as soon as I hear the rocks start falling, I just turn around and like panically try to because i mean i'm in a cave now with a bunch of spiders and bats and other people creatures that i may or may not mm. like so i'm trying to like not panic but also like see if i can figure out a way out but not in a in a in a in a way that you know a scientist or an engineer should like hmm, but more like in a oh my god let's just move all these rocks by hand because that will be efficient and get the hell out of here <laughs> Uh, the, the instructor, Lieutenant Runa, is she inside or outside the cave? She is inside the cave with you. All right, and and roughly how close to the entrance is she? Basically, she is close to the entrance. Um, okay. Some of the rock balls uh, oh, have okay. actually landed on her. So I was about to say, better. yeah, if, if if the rocks are already falling, so we can't get out. Uh, what Soth will attempt to do, as soon as he notices the danger, uh, is run to the instructor uh, with an aim of moving her away from the rock slide. If if she's already been I, pinned in by a rock, that's yeah. going to be somewhat I harder. I have to try to help and uh, manhandle her out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So okay, Soth. We're. Uh, uh, I have no idea which one of us is stronger in character or out of character. Uh, but what Soth will attempt to do is is call for somebody who is is medical to do the moving, so moving doesn't make the person worse. Well, you might want to do evaluation <laughs> first. I'm the middle ranger role. Right. Okay. Uh, um, I want my when when my character sees the bleeding, he I'm like he 
goes and tries and starts investigating, okay, what does he need to do to stop the bleeding? You know what I mean? Try and turn over and try and say, Shut get her out of here quickly and. Oh, fuck, I, I'm trying to figure out something like a. I would do a quick. If she needs stabilization, quick. she needs to get it ASAP. Yes! Get her stabilized ASAP! Yes. That's what I was trying to do too. Yeah. I would do Take a time quick evaluation to see if it's safe to move her. Yeah. Velik is going to try to move a bunch of rocks from her, uh, at least if they are for, like following uh, in her vicinity. Uh, yeah. And he will try it and call some other people to help at the same time. Exactly. Soth is not incompetent at medicine, but he's not the best, so he'll he'll help Velik. But he's very much calling for people who are more medically focused to deal with the commander or to the instructor. Uh, uh, he goes over and looks at and see if he can investigate. Like, okay, what can he do to help stabilize stabilize her fast? But he's on. That's what he's on right now. Is saying stabilize first, and then we'll go from there. Basically, you notice that she has no right arm, and she's bitten on the right side. She has no right arm. Did yep. she? Did she get Lieutenant Mamost? <laughs> Bye. Do I have to deal with another arm injury now? Oh, Jesus! Damn. Oh God. Whatever this and thing is. Actually, huh? And you notice that she's actually bleeding from both the uh, arm and ribs. Okay, so something. Right right. Side. So something I came by quickly and tore some stuff away from her. Okay, I'll let the medical do the medical, but I'm helping to like move some some rocks. I would yep. like to treat the wounds. I have field yeah, medicine. Well, while the other officials try to treat her wounds, I, except, I guess I'll try to help uh, Vel to yeet the try to get some yeah. rocks out of here ASAP. I, I, I don't know if it'll be significant, but um, Soth has the follow my lead uh, talent, so if for whatever reason that is successful, I can grant assistance, I believe, using my presence and command to other people like for free if it's a perilous situation. Uh, yes, um, you can. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my character is down on the ground, trying to stop bleeding, trying to, you know, try to help her as fast as possible. And I have field medicine, too. Go ahead. Yeah, well, you roll? well you, I want to know what the difficulty and complication range of all this is before I say what I'm going to roll. Um, the complication range is going to stay the same. Um, the difficulty, because she's bleeding, I'm going to say... At least a uh, four to stabilize her. Yeah, I was um, gonna say a ripped off arm is not gonna be easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, my attribute will be will I be testing along with medicine to um do this? Well, to help, I should say, because I don't know, I don't know who has better medicine, so. Uh, um, help with my field medicine talent. Well, Grimlo is an actual medical cadet, so you'll be assisting him. Uh, also, I suggest whoever that I think it was Edgeford who said he has that he has some kind of assistance command thing. Uh, yep. Since the difficulty is four, I would say you assist as well. If it, if I was uh, jamming. <laughs> yeah. I I believe that in order for me to use follow my lead, I have to do something in the perilous situation, and if I succeed, I automatically assist somebody else without having to use the normal assistance rules. But it, it so it, it would be a case of if I successfully help in moving the rocks, then I can use my assistance on the medical task. But I have to succeed in my own right. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I keep on Good. getting dropped uh, randomly. So um, is, is Justin? Are you doing the primary, or are you doing the support role? The support role. So I'm doing the primary role. Yep, you're doing the primary grimoire. Okay. Um. So I have uh, I, because I discussed this uh before, the I took a commendation that specifically applies to field medicine. 
that will allow me ah. to re-roll a medical task when I'm benefiting from the field medicine talent. And I would say that we do not have the appropriate tools to normally treat this wound in the field, right? Yep. I have field right. medicine too, so... Um, what's that roll? That roll... That roll insight ain't or control for this to help. I don't know what you want medicine. Because basically you see what's wrong. I don't know what I write. Reason, medicine, and then is this, um, what species is the person that I'm treating? Because I want to make sure, see if my xenobiology applies. Oh, it would. 100%. Four, yes, 100%. Like four different species. Okay, and then, uh, I imagine that this does not look good, and I'm grumbling constantly <laughs> about how these horrible events keep happening. I would like to use my value. Call it like I see it. <laughs> yes. Nice. Also, also, don't forget, forget if you're assisting, like Justin, and then eventually, um, Edgeford, uh, you'll be rolling 1d20, not 2. And then how much momentum do we have currently? Because I may use it all. You have 2. I suggest you use it. Yeah, I'm going to use both of them. Because I can re-roll. So I am using my determination as well, so... That's going to be an automatic success as well, correct? Uh, yeah, you get two successes. All right. Oh, uh, did I get a roll then? Um. And then guys... I'm going to choose to re-roll that one that did not succeed. Yep. Then I right. rolled two right. Two, I rolled two right. You roll one. one. You're assisting. Oh. One. Okay. Well, and does this... with, with the determination, though, I should still have enough. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Yep, you get one momentum back. And you nice. okay. safely, basically used, safely stabilized the arm and the, her side from all the bleeding. So... That is something you can actually, and you successfully made sure she is not um, going to have any further bleeding. All right, and is she safe to move now? Yep. So I'm, I'm now guessing it's up to us primitive rock pushers to, <laughs> to get the rocks off her uh, yep. to move. Would that be, what, fitness security? The yeah. one time we roll fitness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Soth's fitness isn't terrible, but it isn't great. His his fitness security would be uh, eight four. So I don't know if anyone's could could I argue uh, control uh, based on uh, and Yield's an engineer and he's using uh, leverage and things like that to kind of pull the rocks, you know, pull the one, one on the bottom and the, the top ones fall, that kind of thing. Could help. Yes. Yeah. Oh, if we yes. if we're allowed to use control engineering, that's way better. <laughs> yes. Would there be any benefit to getting bonus momentum on the medical check because I can use the untapped potential to roll the challenge dice to see if we get uh get any bonus momentum? I just don't know if it would actually be a a benefit at all. Go ahead. Yeah. It depends uh, how many no. You get. Yeah, it depends on how many you get. You get a threat instead. Oh, oh yep. no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. But okay. So well, who's okay then? Uh, I, I, can I recommend, even though you know it doesn't really matter, that I be the main role for the moving rocks just because I was the first one to yeah. try to do it? Yeah. Might if I? Might if I? I would like to support. No, we'll assist at all. Also, my, I'm an so engineer, so I'll be using control. That's engineers, which is good. I'll I'll use that too. So that's what complication so, what are we one. For? Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna. Uh, to what to move the rocks? I, well, yeah. I'm saying for me, my character control engineering. It's up to y'all to argue for whatever y'all want to use. I I know mm -hmm. I could argue for security, but I'm not that. I'm, I'm not doing that because I'm. Engineering. You know what? Well, Soth will follow your example. He didn't think of it. 
but you thought of it, and he's like, oh, that's a better plan. And yeah. Might <laughs> as well try. I'm gonna also yeah. spend the momentum. Now, oh, I do apologize if I roll this incorrectly. This is my very first time rolling off of this sheet. <laughs> Um, well, we so it's what, complication roll one. Sorry, task rain, task roll one. Uh, for assist, yeah, task roll one. All right, so we got three like successes. So. And I'm guessing she didn't say the difficulty on purpose. Four successes. Four successes. Four successes. Five Anyone successes. else? We got five there successes. Go. So how Good. You actually, finally, eat all of them rocks like it's nothing. <laughs> yes. Brains and brawn. Like it's nothing. Because I was letting it be a scale difficulty, and that's why I was like, I'm hoping you use hit fire. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> c considering that this is a sort of a perilous situation, I think I have to declare it now. Since it, it was successful, I'll, I'll activate uh, Follow My Lead, uh, which will take a point of determination from me, so I'll mark that. Uh, but yeah, the next task an ally does that's that sort of difficult and requires rolls, they just for free get assistance from me at my uh, control no presence command rec combination. Okay, I have a question, yep. and I it's probably my fault for you know, but uh, let me find it. Where is it? Where's your character sheet? Am I just oh it's um, okay. Um, what is your command? Is that three? Okay. Yeah. The reason I was asking is because, like, you know, your engineering's four, so I don't know why you would ever assist with something lower, but that's just me. Just wondering. Well, yeah, I suppose so, but I think it's just, like, a free thing. Yeah. Plus, no, I was yeah. just wondering. <laughs> Plus, it's funky. I want to use stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, I completely get it. All right, so... So, a question, question for the GM. Are we... Did we completely get all the rocks out of the way, and now we're, you know... Out of the cave, or yep. Okay, great. A yield runs out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> just try, and, try to like in case the uh, people that are trying to stabilize the instructor is still on their way. I could try to. I would like to try and watch over it. Be there in case they need any further help. Yeah. yeah. Soth will count people out of the cave to make sure we haven't lost anyone. Don't forget her <laughs> arm. <laughs> If it's there, you yeah. like as you got, like as you got her arm. Can I, be <laughs> can, I, can I try looking for her arm, anyways? Yeah, I was gonna say, did it take it, or did it eat it, or did it leave it? You didn't even uh, look for it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. look for it. Oh, that's gonna be inside security for sure, or inside medicine, I guess, for the medical. Inside security for security people and inside medicine for medical people. I I yield. Try it. I yield Can you have multiple here. primaries then or not? They're just one primary. What? It's up to Mac, but like, I would what? say mul multiple primaries is fine. Multiple is you're fine. E you're each looking like in you know your own way and all that stuff. So. Yeah, I'm just yeah. looking for an arm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, can I help the medicine person? Uh, oh, well, e e even though Bert Hold got oh. zero zero. Uh, I think it's not a critical. It's not a critical, but yeah. Bert Hold was an, honest, an ally attempt. I am surprised we'll get... we have not got a critical failure yet. It, it, that is amazing. Oh, oh. This you is the longest that? we've oh, got. Playing <laughs> for the night now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you do me yeah. an extra favor? Is that. Can you roll in another. Inside, Me? I would say, yeah. Can you roll it inside? inside? Um, security. Okay. For some reason, that first roll you failed because you're hearing growling. <laughs> oh, no. Did you say roaring? Shit. Growling. It's growling. still yep. here. I, I yield's already. Do I have a phaser? 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 My cannon is probably going to have a paranoid attack right now. Shit, shit, pull out the phaser. Fuck, 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 fuck. Soth is whipping you out the cave. Go, go, go. My apologies. I pulled out. That guy just went out the cave. He's he's flying out. Hmm. Is Bear Hold other than Soth the last person in the cave? Uh, no, I'm still in there looking for the arm. 
Oh. And so is Velik, by the way. So, uh, upon hearing the growl, um, Velik heads to... Uh, I, get, I suppose he heard it as well? Or is, is it only Bertolt that heard it? Convenient. Yeah, so... Uh, well, was I'm, the only one. I, 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 unless he already rolled, I would let Velik roll Insight Security. Mainly also because he's a Vulcan yeah. and they have, yeah. you know, the, the ears. You can roll. Okay. Me. Insight Security. If Mark said you can roll as well. Sorry. Right. Merc, I would, I would roll if I was you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, yeah, I was going to help with the, the rocks, so I didn't know if you guys no, we're uh, can hear me or not. Yeah, 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 yeah no. Rolling, rolling site security because you may roll to. Oh, that's mine. Alright, so I don't Velik. And I don't have oh. one, but. Merc and Velik, uh. You do hear a... All right. We hear the growling. Uh, do... Yeah. Yep. Uh, do we have an idea of where it's coming from? Like, do we know the direction? Not where I uh, am. Yeah. I'm I have here. some slight form of panic. Basically, um, it's coming from in deeper into the cave. So oh. the spiders and bats are moving out of the cave. Oh, away from it. Yeah. The the bats yeah, and the spiders yeah. are following me because I'm already out of the cave. So <laughs> I'm like um, in those comedies when you turn around and, and you see that guy running away from like the monster and the other guy's still standing there. That's what y'all are doing. Y'all are standing there. I'm already gone. <laughs> um, what is this? An, an episode of Scooby Doo, but with the <laughs> paint job yep. Star Trek. Look, I I so I will. The, the... Sorry, sorry. Uh, I will uh, look at the the people who are still in the cave, and I will uh, ask, uh, "Are you? Um, are you? Would you like to follow me? Then let's go to the uh, to the growling." Would you like? Wait, you're going towards the growling. You you want to what? It's probably it Fenris. <laughs> yeah, so Soth will, will call out when you say that, and he's he's like by the mouth of the cave, just out of the rocks, but uh, and like still waving people out, and just say. We already have one severely injured person. Let's just get out of here safely. And he's like continuing to wave people. <laughs> and I will uh, retort with, this could be the, the experience of a lifetime. Well, you, you go experience your it. death, it will be the end of your lifetime. <laughs> so, uh, who is technically in command at this point? Whoever is the fourth year cadet, probably. Also, well, here's a key question. Has Runa lost consciousness? I'm get Well... I'm guessing yes. so. Yes. Based on the loss yes. of an arm. No, there is no real yeah. Yeah, you, you And she's really. been yeah. knocked on the conscious. And she's been knocked on conscious, so against the wall. Right. Well, there is a chain of command, though. Somebody is in charge if she's not. Yeah, I, the, the senior yeah. cadet. Yeah. I assume. But, I think Samson is a year four, and then Merc yeah. is year three. I mean. So I'd be both of y'all. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I vote we leave um, the uh, growling alone. <laughs> so we're not going to try to recover the arm. Did y'all find the arm? If the arm's I, still around. I don't know. I rolled two successes and I didn't hear anything. Okay, so the successes. So. I'm going to guess that the monster has it in its mouth. So I, I, again, I vote we just leave. He's already gone. Like I said, he's already out the, out the game. He's not mm. stopping. So did I not find the arm with my two successes? No. Well, you since you were the first person to attempt, you got the benefit of my thingy joggy. It says there were loads of rolls, so I'll roll that real quick just to see if that changes it. But probably not. Okay, you now have three successes. <laughs> nope, <laughs> it doesn't change a thing. I didn't think it would. <laughs> uh, you you take a guess that the creature has it. Yeah. That, that's that's sensible. Uh, but yeah. Well, I, yeah, Soth is continuing to wave people out, but if there's a, a sort of, like, a, a, a charge into the cave, he will do that kind of, like, ah, heck, don't leave him behind. Um, <laughs> that is that he's... He's, like, okay, so... Uh, you just see, he, like, standing there, like, in deep thought, like, okay, what should I do, kind of thing. Deep thought. What's there to think about? <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm assuming someone's picked up uh, Runa, right? Oh yeah. Okay. I hope so. 
They're out, okay. Okay. So then That's I will turn to uh, Kenneth Merck and I'll ask uh, the final command is for us to leave then? I think they'd be better than all giving us any, any further injuries. Yeah, I guess the question is, is is this going to be going back to our shuttle and departing, or is this the break point for another session? We're going back to our shuttle, and there is a Olympus-class ship overhead, and when they hear that your instructor, uh, instructor is injured, you use a beam dot to, to that ship. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why we're going to leave the episode. I'm glad, Mark, you actually picked up on not going into the cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're all glad except for Z for some reason. <laughs> we don't know he was going to use the mind melt. Buddy. Yeah, he was going to mind melt the wolf. I knew it was coming. Mind melt the wolf. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, know it I know what it was, and there was no way you were mind melting it. <laughs> So I was really tempted to go in there and punch things, but I I, I thought, okay, what's the difference between Soth being brave and Soth being suicidal? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I feel like if the impulsiveness overtaken the paranoia, I feel like it would either be like something similar to self risk, but just <laughs> worse. Alright, so yeah. leaving it there. Yeah, I think Mac oh, uh, got Mac another disconnected. Call. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, I guess so. Uh, I'll ask her, you know, when, when she comes back, whatever, about reputation and everything, and she'll... Yeah. Is, that, cause is this going to be so, the, yeah. like, kind of like a multiple-part episode, or is this the is this it for this episode? Uh, I'm not sure. Based on what I knew about the story, um, well, we didn't even get to the, the good part, so... But, but also based on the, the ship coming and beaming you know, her up deck seemed like the end, so I have to get with her and ask, like, what's going on. But I'll, I'll let you guys know over the course of the next two weeks. Okay. What happened Sounds if one good. of us actually did decide to try and get her arm? 